Hello, hello. Okay, so we will do a problems with a distributed load. And we will have two different members of the structure, one that is connected to normal stress and one that is connected to normal and um, shear stress. And the question is, what will be the maximum load, the maximum distributed load W here, knowing that uh, the structure is made of two pipe, like tubing pipe, uh, four centimeters by four centimeters with a thickness of 0 0.5 centimeters, and that the maximum stress of the materials is 16 megapascal and the maximum shearing stress of the material is 18 megapascal. So we kind of know the limits of the materials, how much it can handle. We know the sections, what they look like, and we wonder, okay, so what is the maximum load we can apply to it? What do we start with? Always. We start with three body diagrams, and there there is two different parts. Um, there is the vertical member and the vertical member BC and the horizontal, not horizontal, but the one at an angle uh, AB, where we know some informations, uh, where we know the force and let me re-explain that. We don't know the force, but we need, didn't need, we still need to start with something that we cannot know. So we will start with the pro program BC. Okay, you will see what I mean. BC, B and C. And we have this distributed load that is equal to W. And we know that the distance is three meter. So it's a rectangu rectangular load. Remember in statics, rectangular will be at the center and that will be the uh, max load time, the distance So that will be 3w and uh, we have forces that we don't know at b uh, we know the direction of the force because a b is a two forces member because they we don't include the weights um, so we will have bc and because 3w is to the right and creates a negative moment about c this force at b must create a positive moment so it should be to the left uh, bc so that will be F, B, C, and we know the angle because we are in a little three, four, five triangle like this. Three, four, five triangles, very convenient, three, four, five triangles. If you don't remember how to play with the three, four, five triangles, go in my uh, video in tips, tips for mechanics of material or something like that uh, in one of the beginning of the modules. I put all the videos about concept that we see again and again and again, like those three, four, five triangles there. At the pin C, the pin C is a pin connection, so we have two reaction. Uh, CY, that will be up. We don't know the value, but there will be up because FBCY will be done. So we have CY and uh, probably CX will be to the left uh, because the 3W in the center. Oh yes, yes too, because if we do the moment about B, 3W create a positive moment, so CX must create a negative moment. So let's solve for that. What do we do when we have a pin connection to a known at C for the equation? Remember, let's do the equation of equilibrium. And we will start by sum of the moment about C. Oops, about C equals zero. So what do we have? We have 3w that create a negative moment time the distance there that is 1.5 meter. And we have the FBC, but just the FBC on X that create a positive moment. So plus FBC time. So we use a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So time 4 divided by 5 to have just the complement on X. So we are looking just at this complement there. And time the total distance. So the total distance from there to there that is 3 equals zero. So we have F B C equal three W times one point five divided by four divided by five times three. Okay. So F B C equal the we can remove the three and the three, the five can go on the top. So five times one point five that will be seven point five fourth. Or we can also write this 15.8. Oh, and don't forget the W. W. Okay. And W will be in uh, kilonewton time meter. So uh, FBC will be in kilonewton. Okay. 
and I put kilo newton because uh, that will be probably some bay uh, I load. So we have FBC. Let's keep going with our equation of equilibrium. So we did M uh, MC. We can do some of the forces on X equals zero. So we have minus FBC on X that will be four divided by five plus three W minus CX equals zero. So FBC, this is minus 15, eight, 15, eight, W times four divided by five plus three W equals CX. So we can simplify this. So 15 divided by five, this is three. So minus three W and four divided by eight, this is two plus three W equals CX. So we got CX equal six half minus three half equal three half of W. So we find CX. And let's find now some of the forces on y equals zero. Okay, so we have minus, oops, minus FBC on y. So on y, that will be the three fifth. And plus CY equals zero. So we got CY equal FBC. FBC, we found 15. 8 W times 3 divided by 5 plus CY equal so the 15 divided by 5 that's 5 so 5 times 3 15 8 times W this correct oh not 15 3 times 3 9 sorry 9 I right and this is also kilonewton kilonewton etc so now that we have the forces, okay, we found the forces, we found the forces FBC, we found the forces CX, and we found the forces CY. Let's look at the stress in each member. Let's start by, okay, that was now the step number three. Let's put it there. I will look at uh, the internal forces in AB. So I will use free body diagram again, but for AB. We'll do it again. A, B, and we found F, B, C equal 15. Uh, that was down and left on B, C, so that will be up and right on A, B. And we know the value. We go a little bit bigger so we can see it. That will be 15, 8, W on both sides. So if we cut there, we have only normal stresses and oops, this is also the 15, eight W. So what are equal uh, the stress? The stress, the normal stress are equal to, so equal the force divided by the area, right? And what we know is the two max will be equal the force, so the 15 divided by eight times W divided by the area. What is the area? We need to find its area. We didn't find it yet. So the area in millimeters, because that will be, uh, we will compare that with megapascal. Uh, it's a square of four times four, so 40 times 40 millimeter square minus the inside. So we have the little, this one is 40. And because um, the thickness is 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 on both sides, we remove one centimeter on both sides. So the inside is 30, so minus 30 times 30. So the area of um, this one is 700 millimeter square. So now let's solve for W, two max, a uh, sigma max, sorry, sigma max is says megapascal, that is provided. So we have, oops, I will go there, 16 megapascal time A equal 15 divided by 8 W. So we have 16 time, this is 700, time 8 divided by 15 equal W. That gives us a max W of 5,973 newton time meters or 
5.97 kilonewton time meter. This is the max W um, based on the normal stress in the beam or in the member AB. Now we need to do so. We, di we did the member AB. Now step number four. We need to do the member BC. So, oops, three body diagram. The diagram of BC, like this. C ax. Now we know C ax. Okay, we know FBC on the top. That is down. So this is your F. BC that is 15, 8, W. We know the C ax to the left that is 3 half of W. And we know the CY up that is 9, 8 of W. And after that, we have the little distributed load everywhere. Right? So, normal force, the max normal force, if we look at there, the max, max normal force is 9, 8 of W. So, here the max normal force is 9, 8 of W. And this is less than the 15, 15, 8 of W. So the member BC is submitted to a larger normal force and normal stresses. So we don't need to find the maximum W for uh, the bar, the beam BC, because it's lower anyway than uh, AB. Now let's look at the shearing force. Where are the largest shearing force? So here we have the three half of W. This one is 15, eight of W. And if we look at just, just the shearing force in that direction, that's even lower because we have a little three, four, five triangle. So that will be four fifth of 15, eight. That is less than three half of W. So here in the beam BC, the max force, so the uh, shearing force max will be we will have to compare with the fact with the three half of W, the max shearing force that is on the bottom divided by the area. So the toe max for the shearing is different than for the normal stress, 18 megapascal. So we have 18 times the area that is the same that was 700 equal three half of W and we get a maximum W of 8,400 newton time meter that is equal to 8.4 kilonewton time meter. So now, what is the maximum load, the maximum distributed load on this beam? We found two different answers. We found, I try to have everything on one page, we found a maximum uh, W based on the maximum normal stress and we found a maximum W based on the uh, shearing stress. And what will be the limit? That will be the lowest, because the lowest W, um, the beams will be able to handle both of them, but this one will not be able, the first one will not be able to handle the 8.4. So the answer is the max W is 5.97 kilonewton time meter. So if we are not happy with this W, we can change the section, we can change the materials, uh, maybe we can change also the geometry. There's a lot of parameters that we can play with. Hope everything makes sense. Bye-bye.